What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. And hit that bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. And hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Or the dislike button. You know what I mean? But check it. I got something. I know maybe a lot of young folks are going to uh, not like this video. Because it's talking about y'all. I'm talking about folks that ain't even that far younger than me, you know what I'm saying? But just younger than me, you know? And I'm going to be quite frank in this video here. You know what I mean? Got to talk to y'all. I know a lot of y'all don't like to listen. I remember this narrative. When I was younger, I used to always hear older folks say, these young people don't like to listen to nobody. It's that a third, yada, 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 yada. But see, my thing was, I was always listening. <laughs> so, I didn't have a problem listening, you know what I'm saying? So, um, by them saying that, it made me pay more attention to them. Like, okay, well, what y'all saying? You know what I'm saying? Because that's me. That's the type of dude I am. You know what I'm saying? Even when I was young, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm inquisitive. I'm like, I hear you talking. So, you know, they like, they don't like to I'm like, well, okay, well, I'm going to start listening to y'all. What y'all saying? <laughs> and I, all my life, I always paid attention. And another thing, I always gave respect to older people. Because even when I was a baby and, and, and young enough, you know, and I, I remember a lot of things. I remember my mother used to wash me in the sink, dog. You know what I'm saying? At, at times. Or wa and wash me in a little tub on her bed. I remember that. I remember looking at her and her eyes used to scare me because they were so big. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. Um, I started. I kind of lost myself a little bit, y'all. But um, as I got older, older people used to, you know, come to me and just say things to me, dog. I didn't know why. I, I, they used to just say things, and, they, and I used to conversate with them. They used, they used to always, they used to always tell me like sometimes my mom would be at the bank, and I'd be in it. And it was a bank on Third Avenue. I forget which one it was. It was no, it was on Willis Avenue. But going towards 3rd Avenue No, no, not Willis, I'm sorry It was on 3rd it It's been such a long time I think if you go up Brook And you turn up There's one in it There's a major street right there In the Bronx And th that leads to 3rd Avenue You know what I'm saying? But anyway um, um, People you, this, this white guy came up to me And just started talking to me you know, He was real intelligent And I understood everything he said I think I was like 13 at the time And this is the first at, from at the many times after that that I've heard this, he said to me after that conversation, he said, "You're intelligent and you're a scholar." And I always remember that. You know what I'm saying? And from that conversation on, I kept getting these conversations with people. They just randomly started talking to me, dog. And at the end, you're intelligent and you're a scholar. And I'm like, I didn't really know what it meant. I just know that I, I read a lot and I understood what I read. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. Even working in a nursing home, I listen to the older folks, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they, to me, their wisdom is unmatched, be, especially when, when, when they trying to give you something. You know what I'm saying? And I took that with me. So, let's fast forward to you young folks today. <clears throat> I get on the internet, and you know, I do be looking at stuff, you know, I, I be on, I be looking at these videos, and I keep hearing these, these brothers, you know what I'm saying, and, and sisters too, talking about that old nigga, that old nigga, and the vitriol in their voice when y'all talk about us older folks, you know what I'm saying, oh, he old, oh, he old, yo, if it wasn't for old people, you wouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? Yo, dog. Like, who you think had you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, there's things that, I'm uh, from a black perspective, let me tell you something, B. And this is a talent that you can't, modern, modern 
freaking technology can't even touch this. Yo, how about my grandmother was able to tell anybody in this family, I don't care who you had a baby from or who had, long as it was, uh, uh, long as it was somebody in her family who was responsible for having that baby, she could tell you whether that baby was yours, dog. Just by looking at it, boom, boom. That ain't your kid. Nobody believed her. They went and got a DNA test. Bam! Check one. Grandma was right. And then this ain't just happened one time. This happened several times. Grandma was right all the time, B. That's a talent, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's what an old person can teach you. Don't y'all don't know about that. First thing y'all do is y'all go get a DNA test. Not me, dog. I could look at a child and tell her whether it's mine or whether it's part of his family. That's the talent I took from my grandmother, dog. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't got that. Y'all need DNA tests. I don't. It's a lot of stuff I don't need. Because it's within us. We already got it. And guess who you going to get that from? You going to get that from somebody older than you, B. Because you don't know it. You fight. Y'all follow today, man. Y'all follow what they tell y'all to do on the news. I follow what I learned from my grandmother, my grandfathers, and my great grands. And every great uncle, great aunt that sat up there and talked to me, I absorbed all of that, B. That's why I'm not sitting up here tripping like y'all are. It's a difference, man. But you young folks can't tell y'all nothing, B. Y'all don't want to learn nothing. Y'all know everything. You know what I'm saying? Even yesterday I had a little conversation with a dude younger than me. He ain't even want to hear it. And that just should, that's what prompted this video. Cause I'm like, well, damn, dog, you like that too? Alright. <laughs> what? And it wasn't nothing even that serious, dog. It was just a little info. Like tiny. And I'm like, God damn, you ain't wanna hear that. Alright, fine. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yo, y'all dudes are sensitive, B. Let me tell you the down so the, the, the downfall of being emotional and sensitive for a man, for you young folks these days. It's that the government can easily play with you, dog. All they got to do is play with y'all emotions. And they got y'all. They could sway y'all in any direction they want. And they doing it right now. Every time something happens, here y'all go, Black Lives Matter. Now y'all mad. They play with y'all emotions because they know y'all Y'all easy to sway. Y'all easy to get pissed off. Easy, dog. Because you emotional. And you dudes. Y'all, it's just, yo, y'all... Y'all sensitive and emotional, dog. All they, all they do, all the powers do today is just play with y'all, B. They can move y'all in any direction they want to because you're so, you so goddamn sensitive. And y'all effeminize. So you move like you, 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 your whole style is like a female, B. Females are emotional. And that's not trying to diss them, but that's their thing. You learn to be emotional, dog. You don't know, y'all don't know what it is to be a man. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy to sway y'all to be some way. That's why I feel sorry for this generation that's here now. Because y'all sensitive and emotional. And I know that it's easy just to move y'all by playing on your emotions. OMB signing out. Peace.